Hey, so what's good, fellas? Uh, I did my most recent build, and I noticed I've been getting a lot of uh, mid-throttle oscillations, which means when I have the throttle halfway up, I get a lot of jello in my video and everything is wobbly. I can uh, show you some video of that. So it's a bit of a problem and I definitely need to fix it so that I can get some quality video. So uh, decided to algo, algro bro it. Use my algorithmic brain and did a little bit of research and thanks to Timmy RC on YouTube, he uh, has a great video on five different things. I, I linked it down below if you want to watch in full depth, but it's basically either you have bad props, bad motors no soft mounting of your motors or your flight controller uh, your frame is not stiff enough and the vibrations come out or you have cheap electronics so for my situation replace the props still got jello soft mounted everything although I didn't know you could soft mount motors so I'm gonna print off some uh, motor soft mounts out of TPU hopefully that'll help a bit and then my flight controller soft mounted, but it's a little close to my VTX and I'm not really sure if I can fix that or not because there's not much room on the Impulse RC uh, Apex. And then uh, brand new electronics and I paid good money for them and they worked beautifully in my other build. I guess the last one is bad motors and they're brand new motors so I didn't think that that was an issue but I discovered there's a way to check your uh, gyros and your black box data to check to see if there's vibrations from one specific motor uh, thanks to Joshua Bardwell for explaining how to do that so we're gonna jump into the KISS GUI and take a look at that and see if that's the issue Okay, so I've got the uh, KISS GUI open and I'm plugged into uh, my latest build, have my controller turned on. Then what we do is go over to your data output and then here we can test out individual motors. So you can go to motor and click test and then click yes I know what I'm doing as long as you have your props off because you can fire up your props and cut yourself real bad. So then you go to enable motor tests and then we can start up our motors individually. So then let's start with motor four and then I'm gonna turn the motors on with my controller. And you can see now I have motor four spinning. But then over here we can see the gyro data of everything that's going on. So as I bring the throttle up, you can see the throttle increasing, and we get a graph of gyro data. So this is a fairly so that's a fairly decent motor that it's not giving very much vibration. So then, what we're going to do is try three next, and then I'm going to fire it on and turn it up again. Motor 3 is beautiful, has hardly any vibrations. And motor 2. Motor 2 is perfect, doesn't even have a single vibration. Well, let's try motor 1. So then motor 1. That right there is why I'm getting uh, mid-throttle vibrations, if I'm not mistaken. You can see, even when I turn the drone on and bring it up. The drone gets a little kick and movement to it. So then this is the culprit right here, motor one. He's the one giving me mid-throttle vibrations, apparently. So, what I can do is I have, I have my old builds that is apart because it's got a broken antenna um, and then the bottom 
frame is broken, this arm is hanging on by limb, but I'm waiting for new parts from Impulse RC that have taken uh, like two months, three months now. I don't know, I've talked to them and they haven't... They just tell me it's going to come eventually. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this one in, find a motor on here, because this is not airworthy, so I'm going to find a motor on here that is decently balanced, take it off, put it on here, I'm gonna print some uh, motor skids, or not motor skids, uh, motor anti-vibration motor pads with TPU on the 3D printer, and then put those underneath each motor, and hopefully that should get rid of my jello, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna take a motor off of the old builds, put it on the new builds and hopefully that'll fix the jello because ND filters weren't enough, vibration pads on the motors weren't enough, and hopefully that's it. I mean, we'll find out after this montage. Now that all the motors are swapped, all that's left to do is go strap this camera on the drone and go see if we get some jello. All right, let's go. Okay, well I got a fresh pair of props on the drone now. Uh, all that's left to do really is, give her a go, see how this goes. This is the first pack of the day, so sorry if it's a little rusty, but let's test for some jello. there it is looks like I was able to fix all of the jello who knew that it was just a matter of understanding motor calibration I didn't know that 
you know, buying new motors, sometimes they come crappy. I mean, now I've got it all fixed, no more jello, and just buttery, buttery smooth footage from now on. Appreciate you guys watching and following along in this journey. I've uh, been getting some pressure from people in my life to start doing more vlog type stuff for FPV instead of just putting up footage with music. So, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. But, I mean, as always, like, follow, subscribe, all that jazz if you wanna see more, because there's definitely gonna be more to come. Alright, see ya.